Do you have eucalyptus here? No. Yeah, some people plant them here, yeah, but we don't. I see. I don't it's know. not native. No. Guinea fall. It's the afternoon of the first day here in Africa. This morning I shot a nice kudu. Um, got him back. One of the guys we're hunting with, Mike O'Connell, shot a nice warthog. Uh, my father and Bob both saw a game but decided not to shoot, so I'm in a pit blind today, um, or this afternoon I should say, and uh, I just got in here, I haven't seen anything yet, but this is really cool. The variety of bird life in Africa is incredible. I believe this bird is called the hornbill. Besides the guinea fowl, the most common bird that we saw was the Franklin like this one, and they normally came to the water in the afternoon, where the guinea fowl would be there all day. The crackling that you hear in the audio are actually little black bugs that were swarming around the camera inside the pit blind. This warthog kind of took me by surprise, and I quickly got ready for the shot. As I start to put tension on the string to shoot this warthog, I notice a long shadow out of the right side of the blind. Ignoring it for a moment, I put the shot on the warthog. To my amazement, a giraffe steps out just after the warthog runs into the bush. With the little black gnats still swarming around the video camera, I enjoy one of Africa's most recognizable animals. It was pretty awesome to witness the work that a giraffe has to put into just getting a drink of water. All I can say is unbelievable. <laughs> I'm hunting here with Makalan Safaris in Namibia with Antoni Lowe, and I got in a, blind, a pit blind here about 3.30. It's now a quarter hour, 10 after 4. I shot a warthog, hit him a little bit forward, looks like in the shoulder with the shoulder and neck meat, but he fell down and I watched him falling as he left. He looks like he's pretty hurt. But no sooner does he run away and a big bull giraffe steps out and starts drinking from the water. And you just saw it on film. Unbelievable. Africa is unbelievable. I've been saving to come here for over 15 years. And I thought it was going to be awesome, but it's way better than I ever thought it was going to be. This is incredible. Ended up, couldn't, couldn't go after him, recover him until after dark, so the footage is going to be a little bit dark here. But my first African warthog.
Dick, since you're the youngest, I think we drop you off here. Those are big guys. Just shot a nice warthog. It's laying down over there. I'd say it went maybe 50 yards. It was back a little bit, but I, I caught good vitals because it's it dropped. I watched it drop. Well, we both got lucky tonight. Uh, I shot my pig around 3:30. We. Uh, filmed it, we filmed it when we recovered it, but it was pretty dark, so we're doing it again, and my father got lucky as well, but we're hunting with Makalan Safaris here. It was a good night, good night out hunting, got two warthogs in here. I shot mine about four o'clock, but uh, not being picked up until pitch dark, I uh, didn't, didn't film the recovery. In fact, I gotta get my arrow, it's laying out there. <laughs> nice warthogs though. Told you I'd have a dull arrow, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> Supposedly there's a lot of eland in this area and I'd really like to shoot an eland, so, or elan, depending on how you, how you pronounce it. So we'll just sit it out and see what happens. By the time I got the camera on, the eland was already at the water. The eland are commonly referred to as the world's largest antelope. They have the body size and shape of a Brahma bull. The big guy starts to get a little nervous, so I quickly ready for the shot. The loud noise that you're about to hear is my top bow limb hitting the side of the blind as I shoot. Within 60 seconds of being hit, the big bull is down. I shot him a little bit farther forward than I would like. I'm shooting a 62 pound Black Widow recurve. I've got about a, almost a 700 grain arrow, about a 685 grain arrow with a Wenzel Woodman, Woodsman's on the front. I have the Wenzel Woodsman with the 125 grain steel insert. So it makes it a 250 grain broadhead. And with the 2315 at about 30 inches, it's right up in the 680 grain range. And it went right through the front uh, shoulder of that eland. And he's down. <sighs> That's what I came to Africa for. That was top of my list. And he's just a beautiful bull eland. Or elan, depending on how you pronounce it. But he's down right in sight. He didn't go 100. Man, oh man, oh man. This is just awesome. Look at the size of this animal. Would you look at this? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I don't have the strength to turn them over myself, but... Just 
look at the size of this animal. The largest antelope on earth. The Elan bull. I'm here in Namibia hunting with Makalan outfitters. Oh, what a beautiful animal. They're the size of a Brahma bull. Beautiful, beautiful animal. My gosh, what a beautiful animal. Oh, this is awesome. What a trip. What a hunt. Today is the second day of my hunt. I'm, I'm using a pit blind today. Um, new experience. Never hunted out of a pit blind, but we're going to try it. Wish me luck. There's never a dull moment in Africa on a water hole. There's always something to watch throughout the day. There's no question in my father's mind when he sees this big bull eeling that he's going to take him if offered the shot. The big bull and a younger bull finally make it to the water and dad has the shot he's been waiting for. Just shot in the land bull. It's it's a pretty nice one. It appears to made a real good hit. I got a pass through. Her blood showed up right away. Uh, I'll give the pH a, a call and we'll we'll see what happens here. Um, <coughs> looks good. Looks good. That's my land. I shot it at ten o'clock in the morning. I only caught one lung and it took us until 5 o'clock in the afternoon to, to find it. If it wasn't for the expertise of Antonio, uh, I would not have been able to find it. I got to commend this professional hunter here. He is excellent. Do you do a lot of cooking there? Yeah. Yeah? If you want to stick really well, a really red, you can take one of these. Otherwise, you can just <laughs> Now, is this from a crew that we took, or? No, this is even. Even, yeah. Here's to the hunt, guys. Salute. 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 All the bow on test. Yeah. That's good beer. Thank you. Yeah.